Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to write the code, VBA code, that will convert a range of cells, as we have here, into an Excel table. Now, before we start the actual code that will do that, we're going to declare, declare two variables. The first of which is for the range of cells that contains our data. So I'm going to call that TBL and that's going to be a range variable. And then the second one is for the worksheet that we're actually working in. We'll see why we need that in a moment. And um, I need to set an object to each of those variables. So TBL, well, that's the range of cells that starts in A1. And it is, in fact, the current region. And then the worksheet that we need to refer to is the active sheet, in this example anyway. Now, to do the conversion, we have to use a property of the worksheet object called list objects. So ws.listobjects, and that has a method called add. And if you look at the, uh, it's got lots of parameters here, but the first parameter is source type. So source type, um, it is uh, a normal range, a range within a worksheet, comma. And the other parameter we're going to have to use is the source parameter. And the source for our uh, table is TBL. Okay. Now the other thing that we could do is, oh, there are other parameters you will have noticed within the add method, uh, but we don't need to actually use that. If you just want to do a basic conversion, assuming that you have headings in your data, uh, these two parameters actually suffice. But the other thing we'll probably want to do is give the table a name. So I'll call this transactions. Okay, so that is the line of code that you need to do the conversion. So let's see if it actually works. I press play. You can see that it has done the conversion and it has called the table transactions. Okay, thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.